Uh, hi everyone. So this is a continuation of my uh, OpenStack Juno series uh, demo. Uh, in this I will walk through uh, four services in OpenStack Juno. Uh, Swift which is the object storage service. Uh, then the Heat which is the orchestration service. Plans the uh, image management service and last silo meter uh, which is the metering service. So first let's uh, you know I already have the uh, dashboard up here. Um, so first let's go to uh, the object store. So all the things that uh, you know I walked through this I have covered it in my blog as well uh, and in the blog uh, so I've mainly used the uh, the CLI commands. So in the demo I will walk through through the horizon interface the same set of things that I've done with the OpenStack CLI. So first thing is we'll create a container uh, where we can you know put our objects in. Okay so first we've created a test container and uh, what we'll do after that is we'll upload an object inside this container. so we call this as test object and so basically we can pretty much uh, upload anything here whether it is like you know it's, it's a test object or even I can upload a file from my uh, you know local computer so here we can you know choose a file so let's say that uh, want to put my local.conf that I have created so I can upload that so now I have uploaded you know two objects one is a test object and another is a local.conf so now if I view uh, the container detail so here uh, you know the container itself is a private container I can make it public if I want so let's make public okay now that we have made the container public let's view the details of the container so this here gives the public URL using which uh, we can uh, basically access uh, this particular container from anywhere so let's say if I go through this browser and you know so here I can see the other uh, container which has uh, two objects one is just the local.conf object another is the test object so for example if I want to download one of the objects uh, you now I can do this so where I can download this uh, from the glance uh, which is the image management service if you go to the admin tab we can uh, see uh, the default list of images that DevStack provides which is like Ciro's images, a Fedora and a MySQL image. Now if you want to create a new image you know we can create an image we can create it from an ISO file which we uh, custom build or it could be any ISO file that you can you know download and if we can also download any of these images which we can modify and then upload it back to the OpenStack um, yeah that's pretty much about the uh, glance service one of the very interesting uh, services that uh, has been available from the ISO's time frame is the uh, orchestration service from OpenStack which is also called as a heat uh, so this allows us to kind of uh, orchestrate the complete application rather than individual uh, you know VMs uh, so let's uh, and this orchestration is defined in a template file so the first step would be uh, you know downloading this template file I've already downloaded this the instructions are there in my blog so first we go to the heat templates I just wanted to uh, give a quick overview of the template file template file itself um, so we will create a WordPress application there are two template files here for the WordPress one which is uh, you know basically creates 
using one instance of a VM, a WordPress application. And uh, this one is, uh, you know, uses two instances, one for a web server and another for a database server. Um, so let's view uh, one of, so this templates are specified in YAML file. Uh, so basically I've copied this and made small change to the template file. Uh, the only change that I have made to the default template file is I've created a new flavor which is called as M1 tiny small. Uh, the reason I had to do that was because uh, Fedora needed a sl slightly larger disk size and RAM size and the next largest template size I did not have enough you know, hard disk space in uh, in my host itself. So other than that, it, this is a standard, uh, you know, whatever is, the, it's a hot template file in the YAML format. Uh, so basically there are three sections here. The first section description, which talks about, you know, what this template file is. Okay, this is for creating, creating a WordPress application. The second part of the uh, template is parameters. Basically these are, what are the input parameters uh, that this template file will take. Uh, so in this case, you know, basically flavor is one of the instance type, the image. In this case, we are going to use the Fedora uh, image, which is the default value. And then what is the DB name? So for every parameter, we there's also a default value. So if we don't give any input, it takes the default value, DB name, DB root password. Okay, resources. So this is an important section here. So this is where we define what are the resources that's going to be part of the template and the resources could be a VM, storage, networking, could be anything that is needed for the application. In this case, uh, we have defined a particular, um, you know, a VM. So uh, with the input parameters that we have specified above and then here, the, this part of the template talks about what are the, the initialization script uh, that uses the cloud init infrastructure that needs to be run on the VM to set up the WordPress service. So basically it talks about installing you know the Apache server, the database, the WordPress application uh, and then setting up you know all the necessary things for the WordPress. So that's pretty much in this section. This last section which talks about output, what is the output of this template file? In this case, it's going to be an URL which contains, from, through which we can access the WordPress application. Okay, so now that we have talked about what a template file looks like, uh, there are two housekeeping things that we need to do. One is that the instance that we are going to create should be able to access the internet so that it can download all the necessary applications that is necessary. Uh, so to do that, there are two parts that are necessary. The first part is be able to do the uh, NAT kind of a masquerading so that uh, this allows the, the VM to be able to access the external world. And the next part is about setting up the DNS server for the, uh, the private network. So to do that, first look at the subnet list and find the subnet ID of the, uh, you know, the the private network that we have set up. Next, find the DNS server, uh, which is you know present on the host. So note these two things, and then what we can do is update the uh, you know the private uh, DNS server for this particular private subnet. So this is the command that we need to do. So here we update two things. One is the uh, um, the DNS server and the other is the subnet ID. Okay, so now we have updated the, uh, for this particular subnet, we have specified the DNS server. So this will allow the, the instantiated VMs to be able to access the external world through the DNS uh, names. So the last part that we need to do before starting the, uh, uh, you know, the orchestration service uh, is basically creating the new flavor. So what we have to do is, you know, go to the admin flavors and here we can try to create this flavor which has you know the custom size that we want so i specified a tiny small it's a custom name flavor with one vcpu 512 megram 4 gb hard disk space and we let's create this flavor okay now we are ready to create our wordpress application 
So first go to orchestration stacks. So here we click on the launch stack. So here uh, let's choose the particular template file uh, where we have the you know necessary thing to create the WordPress application. So we go to the heat templates, the hot template format, and here we select uh, the single instance YAML file. The next step here we specify the bunch of parameters that is necessary for the WordPress application. Okay. So here uh, we chose the uh, choose the basically the custom instance uh, flavor type that we created earlier. We use the Fedora uh, image ID, and uh, for all the other things, uh, the DB name is WordPress, and uh, you know the username and password we can create whatever we want here. The stack name is WordPress one, and that this is the template file that is needed to access SSH into the uh, instance uh, we should have created this earlier and let's create the launch okay so we waited for some time for the uh, stack creation to complete so we can see the stack creation here is complete um, so we can uh, see some information when we click on the stack related detail so the URL is not yet out because uh, in terms of downloading all the software that is not yet completed uh, so here we can look at the um, some of the information. Uh, one interesting thing to note is corresponding to the stack that we created. If you go and look at the instances, the corresponding number of instances would already be created, and uh, so that is basically the Fedora instance where the WordPress application is going to be installed. So here we can see that you know the instance creation is complete. Um, and uh, as we looked earlier, the URL is output is not yet ready because uh, the installation of the whole WordPress application is still ongoing. To see what is happening under the hoods, what we can do is we can try to log into this uh, Fedora instance. Uh, so to do that, first, uh, let's see if I, we should be able to ping to this instance. And uh, let's see, if we can basically now we are use the key to login and we use the EC2 user as a username and uh, log in to this particular uh, VM and so what we can look here is basically um, if we can see if the HTTP is started um, so what we can see here is basically it is running all the installation related stuff to see the status of the installation, we can go to the where log directory and there are two files which is related to the cloud in it and uh, you know you can look at that to see what is the current status of the installation. Uh, so this will take you know quite a bit of time. Uh, so we'll just hold on for some time. And another thing you just want to make sure is from here we should be able to ping by the host name. That's you know using the DNS and the masquerading thing that we set up earlier. Okay, uh, we have waited for around 10 to 15 minutes for the installation to complete. So if you look at the events, it says uh, it completed around 15 minutes. Um, and uh, we can look at what are the services running on the, uh, the VM itself. So if we look at uh, HTTP, so it it's running the uh, web server as well as uh, uh, the database itself and uh, to access the uh, WordPress application itself so this is the URL so we can uh, try to load this particular uh, URL which is the WordPress URL hurry so we have the uh, WordPress application that is uh, created to using an heat template and when we delete the complete stack even all the instances and everything could be deleted there is also one more template in this file in the same directory which allows us to create like a two instance uh, wordpress application you can try that so the last one i wanted to cover here is the silo meter which is the metering service so if we go to the stats uh, we here we have uh, the different metrics that is listed here we can look at how the uh, metrics change over time and also we can look at the daily report 
where we can see the snapshot of all the reports. Thank you for watching.